Fellow Guyanese, in keeping with the People's Progressive Party Civic Manifesto, and in keeping with our commitment earlier this year, when the Minister of Finance, the Minister of Health, and myself categorically stated that during the course of this year, we'll be adjusting the salaries of healthcare workers to remove anomalies and also to ensure that in keeping with our manifesto, we deliver, we deliver better health care, we deliver stronger health care, but most, more importantly, to ensure that our health care workers uh, enjoy a good salary and a better standard of living. Recently, I announced the forest phase of additional adjustments to the salaries of selected categories of employees of the discipline services. I also indicated that I will be making subsequent announcements regarding additional adjustments to the salaries payable to other selected categories of employees of the public sector. Accordingly, I am now pleased to announce the following adjustments to the salaries payable to specified positions within the health sector. On top, and these adjustments are on top of the 8% across the board increase already announced. These ad additional adjustments will take e effect from the 1st of January 2023. I wish to address the following categories. In order to ensure that the public health care system is able to attract talented young professionals, we'll be making salary adjustments to several categories of doctors working in the system, including as follows. Medical interns will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from $151,374 to $200,000. This represents an additional 32.1% increase on the current minimum salary paid to a medical intern. Medical officers, whether employed at a GPHC or elsewhere, will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from $219,878 to $300,000. This represents an additional 36.4% increase on the current minimum salary paid to a medical officer. Medical officers who have completed one year of post-employment experience, for example, a second year GMO, will now have their current minimum salary adjusted to $351,000 $204 in line with the current practice at the GPHC. Medical officers who have completed two years of post-employment experience, example, a third-year GMO, will now have their current minimum salary adjusted to $414,032 in line with the current practice at the GPHC. Medical officers who have completed three years of post-employment experience. Example, a fourth-year GMO will now have their current minimum salary adjusted to $446,160 in line with the current practice at the GPHC. Specialist doctors. Example, gynecologists, neurosurgeons, dermatologists, orthopedic surgeons, etc., will now have their minimum salaries adjusted upwards from $276,536 to $450,000. This represents an additional increase of 62.7% on the current minimum salaries. For our nurses, nurse aides, and patient care assistants will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from $80,892 to $100,000.
This represents an additional 23.6% increase on the current minimum salary paid to each worker. Nursing assistants will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from $88,525 to $115,000. This represents an additional 29.9% increase on the current minimum salary paid to a nursing assistant. Midwives will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from $96,974 to $169,438. This represents an additional 74.7% .7 increase on the current minimum salary paid to a midwife. Staff nurses will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from $111,628 to $169,438. This represents an additional 51.8% increase on the current minimum salary paid to a staff nurse. Staff nurses, midwives, will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from $127,963 to $195,000. This represents an additional 52.4% increase on the current minimum salary paid to a staff nurse midwife. Allied health workers. In order to ensure that the public health care system is supported by adequately qualified technicians, and allied health professionals will be adjusting the salaries payable to several categories of these workers, including pharmacy assistants, will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from $84,662 to $100,000. This represents as much as, as, as an additional 18.1% on the current minimum salary paid to these workers. Dental aides and lab aides will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from as low as $80,892 to $100,000. This represents as much as an additional 23.6% increase on the current minimum salary paid to these workers. Community health workers will now have their current minimum salaries adjusted upwards from $88,525 to $100,000. This represents an additional 13% increase on the current minimum salary. Medics will now have their current minimum salary adjusted upwards from $152,000 $420 to $200,000. This represents an additional 31.2% increase on the current minimum salary. Pharmacists will now have their current minimum salary adjusted from $127,963 to $215,000. This represents a 68% increase on their current minimum salary. These revisions to the salaries of these workers will benefit over 5,000 persons and will increase the disposable income by over 1.5 billion annually. This represents a further installment of my government's unwavering commitment to continue the improvement for the working conditions of our employees in the public sector and indeed of all Guyanese. This evening I am pleased to be able to make the announcements that we just announced. I want to say to all Guyanese that this government remains committed in bringing prosperity to every home, 
in improving the livelihood and living conditions of every single Guyanese, in every single village, in every single profession, we are working day in, day out to make your lives better. Every day is getting better. Every year will get better. We ask you to stay the course with us as we work together on making life more beautiful, promising, and prosperous in this country. Every single one of our commitment, whether to the health workers, whether to cane farmers, we have kept our commitment to the people of this country. We ask of our healthcare workers to deliver at the highest level. We ask you to repay our country with excellent care, with good customer service, with patience and love, with dedication and commitment, with trust and with fulfillment of your oath. These are only some of the long categories of workers in the healthcare system that I've addressed tonight. But I'm pleased to say that our healthcare system is not only getting stronger from an infrastructure perspective, from a medical perspective, from a skill perspective, from a human resource perspective, but now, with this announcement, it is getting stronger from a welfare perspective, where our health workers must now understand fully that this government cares about them, cares about every single citizen of our country. I thank you, and may God bless you.